Excel Tutorial Commodity Channel Index Stock Technical Indicator Stock technical indicators are calculated by applying certain formula to stock prices and volume data. They are used to alert on the need to study stock price action with greater detail, confirm other technical indicator signals, or predict future stock prices direction. This topic is part of Stock Technical Analysis with Excel Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Commodity Channel Index is a bounded oscillator that measures a stock price variation from its statistical mean. 20 days and constant factor are commonly used to make sure most values fall within bands. Notice that these 20 days and constant factor are commonly used, but they are not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. For full reference, I recommend that you read Donald Lambert, Commodity Channel Index, Tool for Trading Cyclic Trends, published in Commodities Magazine, now Futures Magazine in 1980. Technical indicator is calculated through following steps. A. Typical price calculation. Current period typical price is equal to, and within the numerator we have current period high plus low plus close prices divided by 3. B. Typical price smoothing calculation. Current period 20 day simple moving average of typical prices is equal to 1 divided by 20, multiplied by the sum from the 0 to the 20 minus 1 observation of previous period's typical price up to current period typical price. C. Mean absolute deviation or average deviation calculation. Current period 20 days average deviation of typical prices is equal to 1 divided by 20, multiplied by the sum from the 0 to the 20 minus 1 observation of the absolute value of previous periods typical prices up to current period typical price minus the 20 days current period rolling arithmetic mean of typical prices. D. Commodity Channel Index Calculation Current periods 20 days and constant factor of 0 0.015 Commodity Channel Index of typical prices is equal to and within the numerator we have current period typical price minus current period 20 days simple moving average of typical price divided by 0 0.015 multiplied by the current period 20 days average deviation of typical prices. Great, so let's go into the Excel file so that we can study Commodity Channel Index with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within Commodity Channel Index Stock Technical Indicator Excel file. So first we'll begin working within the orange colored CCI data worksheet. CCI stands for Commodity Channel Index. Within it we have the following. From column B to column H we have dates and then open, high, low, close prices, volume and adjusted close prices which were adjusted for dividends and splits. This data corresponds to SPY, ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Notice that data is with a daily frequency from the beginning of 2016, so we select B7 and press Ctrl down arrow all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 252 observations for each of this time series. So we press Ctrl up arrow, down arrow. So now we're going to continue within CCI calculation worksheet, also colored in orange. So again we have at column B dates and for this corresponding tutorial we are only included open, high, low and close prices. For the calculation of the commodity channel index we'll only be using high, low and close prices. So that data is referenced to the CCI data worksheet. So if we select any of the cells, such as B7, we see that it's equal to CCI data worksheet, specifically B7, and so on if we select any of this data. So let's go ahead and calculate the commodity channel index as this bounded oscillator. Notice that within its parameters we have 20 days and the constant factor is 0.015, which are commonly used, but as mentioned previously, this 
are not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. So this should be considered only as an educational example. So at column G, we have typical prices at time T. So we select the first calculation here, which is found at cell G7, and we see that we calculated as the average from D7 to F7. D7 is high prices. Then we have at E, the low prices and at F, the closed prices. So by calculating their average, we have the typical price, which is the same formula as the one we observed within the slides. So once we calculate the typical price, we can continue to do its corresponding smoothing through a 20 day simple moving average of that typical price. So we are going to scroll down. And the first calculation of that smoothing is found at cell H26. The reason for this is that we need at least 20 observations for the first smoothing of typical price, which is done with the built in Excel function of average from G7 to G26. So let's go ahead and scroll up back and we're going to select from G7 all the way into G26 and we see within the count 20 observations and their average as 191.67 which is the value we have besides. Then we can calculate the average deviation. So we select here I26 and we have also the built-in Excel function but in this case ABE, DEB for average deviation from G7 to G26, so the average deviation of those corresponding typical prices. And last, we can do the calculation of the commodity channel index found at cell J26. That's the first observation, and it's equal to G26. This is the numerator within parentheses, which is current period typical price minus H26, which is current periods typical price moving or the 20 day simple moving average. And then we divide that result and also within parentheses, the constant factor of 0 0.015 multiplied by I26, which is that current period average deviation of typical prices. Excellent. So now that we finished studying how to calculate the commodity channel index, let's go ahead and visualize it within its corresponding chart within CCI chart worksheet. So here we have the chart of the commodity channel index CCI for 20 days and the constant factor of 0 0.015 at time t and a corresponding technical indicator. On the vertical axis, we have the values of this corresponding technical indicator. Notice that this is a bounded oscillator and there we have the corresponding values for the commodity channel index as the blue color time series, which we can see also in the legend at the bottom. On the horizontal axis, we have dates from the beginning of 2016 all the way to the end of 2016. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying the calculation and visualization of the commodity channel index, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finished this tutorial. Thank you for watching.